Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will learn how to set up Google Ads offline conversion tracking using Go High Level. So, if you're already familiar with conversion tracking, which is tracking leads or tracking conversion events from you know different paid advertisement sources like ads, uh, offline conversion tracking is very important if you don't want to track conversions from the browser. Basically, running ads on a landing page and then traffic comes to the landing page, they submit the form, and then they become a lead, and that gets tracked using the tracking codes that Google gives us, right? We install that on, a, uh, we, we install a base code, we install an event code on the thank you page and stuff. So that's the traditional way of doing conversion tracking. What if we don't want to do that from the browser side? We need to then install offline conversion tracking, right? We need to set that up. Another very important reason for doing offline conversion tracking is when you don't want to track literally all the lead, all the leads coming through from ads because sometimes we end up getting a lot of low quality leads. What if we don't want to track those? We just want to track the sales or the high qualified leads, right? That we want to definitely track through our campaigns. So that's why offline conversion tracking is very important. That will help us calculate the numbers like ROI, ROAS, and all those very important metrics. And also, it lets Google know that, okay, these are the qualified leads and we need more leads like this, pretty much like conversion API, how it works and on Meta. So in order to do that, this is the high level account we will use. This is the demo account. And um, if we go to opportunities, let's try to come up with a use case. This is our leads pipeline. Let's say we do Google ads and we generate leads that end up under new leads. Once they book a consultation and they show up, we move them to attend it. And that's what we will use as a trigger event to send conversion events to Google Ads. So again, we generate leads and once we move those leads to attended, we want to use offline conversion tracking to report to Google Ads saying that this is a lead or this is a high qualified lead. So let's go to our ad account. So this is the demo Google Ad account that we will use to set up offline conversion tracking. Let's go to goals, summary, and this is where all the conversion events will be. So we'll just create a new conversion action and we won't select website because that's the browser and like, you know, installing those base codes, tracking event codes and stuff. We won't use app. We won't use phone calls. We will use import. And then here we will say CRMs, files or other data sources. We will say track conversions from clicks. And then here in the data, data source, we'll just say skip this step and set up a data source later. That's something we are going to do on high level instead of doing it here. Because if you do it through Google Ads, if you set this thing up, you need Zapier as well. We, we, we are going to skip Zapier and we're just going to stay with Google Ads and high level. So use continue, select categories. Here's a few different categories. I would highly recommend using qualified lead or converted lead. So this is when the lead is qualified, like when the lead shows up or when the lead says that, okay, I, I want to buy your service or product. That's what qualified lead means. If you want to track or if you want to uh, notify Google whenever there is a sale, you need to use converted lead, right? So I would just go for qualified lead and I will say attended appointments. So attended appointment is the conversion name we are using. Add save and continue. And that's it. That's our offline conversion event right so now let's uh go back to our high level account and now very important right so your google ad account is set up under a particular gmail or a google account right so that google account needs to be added to this high level account so what we'll do is we will go to settings and integrations you know how to connect google accounts right so sign in with google and select the right ad account from here. Sorry, select the right Google account from here, right? Okay, so I just connected my Google account, as you can see, and now it's asking me to select the ad account. So MCC is the manager account. If you don't have a manager account under that Google account, it's just gonna be the same ad account uh, that, that'll show up as a manager account, if that makes sense. So this is my uh, Google ad account, as you can see, ending with 990. And uh, this one also ending with 990. So, okay, this is the ad account um, I'm connecting, okay? And that's it. So that's the Google ad account I connected. And now let's go back to automation. Not back, I mean, we are going to automation for the first time, sorry. So let's try to create a workflow now that will notify Google, Google ads of these offline conversions. So 
let's start a new workflow and we will call this appended appointments uh, offline conversion to Google Ads. Okay, so the trigger will be pipeline stage changed. So when we change the pipeline stage for an opportunity in leads pipeline, just like we discussed in stage, we when we move them to attended. So we'll just say move to attended. That means it's a qualified lead. Now we will just do Google add to Google ads. And here the conversion event will be attended appointment. See, because I connected it, because I connected that Google ad account in settings and integrations in this high level account, I was able to access this conversion event that I just set up in here. So this is literally the same conversion event I could select here. So if you want to select a currency conversion value, go ahead and do it. If you want to do custom mapping, you can do it by like, just click here, go to attribution first or latest. Uh, I would go with latest and then go to Google click ID, but it's not very important. So you can, you might as well keep that off and then save action. So publish, save, this will notify Google or this will track the conversions only when the leads are moved to uh, attended, right? So how do we know how many leads we got? Well, let's go to campaigns and you can just come over here, conversions to, tr to see the numbers, right? So you need to see the numbers. Just go to, go to conversions, just go to scroll down. Attended appointment is the number that you wanna see because you created this offline conversion tracking and it will give you the numbers that high level um, sent through to Google Ads through this workflow that we just created. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you uh, create offline conversions, uh, offline conversion tracking in Google Ads using Go High Level. So hope this video was useful. Subscribe if you are new to the channel.